When you think of the Halo universe and its vehicles, the first thing that comes to mind is probably the UNSC Warthog, but hovering above the Covenant, continued to the Banished, had some classic vehicles of their own. One in particular. This is the Mega Constructs Halo Banshee Breakout. The Banshee's been through a lot, being one of the most reoccurring vehicles since combat evolved. How can I keep up with the evolution? By buying almost every single Banshee ever produced. Well, besides the blue Banshee, anyone got a spare? Using the banished deco and looking like a Banshee fixed up with recycled scrap, this is supposedly inspired by what we'll see in Halo Infinite. The question is, does it fare along its family tree? If you want, you can rebuild it into the skimmer, but then it looks like the Tachari Mobile from the Avengers. The set contains two green base plates, the new shock rifle in a dull pearl blue color, yes it has a name now, and returning the focus rifle in crimson, also the new part separator from most larger sets. The only UNSC base figure, the UNSC Spartan Recon returns now sporting a Reach design, and whoa, this is probably the finest Recon available so far. There's Recons I don't own at the moment, but the metallic green color with a taste of gold sells this. But that's only the base color, it has a black undersuit with an earthy toned secondary color, netting leading to the backpack painted over, sorry Simon, and black touches on the chest. But it really gets going with the helmet. So many components all over presenting itself with more black paint and a thick trim over the orange visor. So glad they went with the Reach design. We've seen so many recons. As a bonus, one of the shoulders includes extra bullets attached. Also for the first time in the series, an Elite Ultra. No longer only seen from the old Mega Bloks articulation style. Now adapted to the modern form with the detachable armor, helmet, and the triple leg motion. It does reuse some components from the elite mercenary, notably the chest, but some key changes include the shoulders and the obvious helmet that now attaches over the head. There was some concern it would look too bulky, but I think they did a fair job. Black undersuit, blue eyes, black on the head, and the armor set is primarily gray. Alone, it's alright. Doesn't look as prototype gray as I'd expect. There's a certain shine, but it is overshadowed by the Halo Heroes metallic deco. Would you like the free version or purchase the Platinum Edition? We've certainly come a long way with Banshees. We could compare this to the original or redesigned just before this got released, but I think the biggest mindset comparison is the Banshee Brawl with the Halo Wars 2 Banish Banshee, with qualities that seem to linger into the new form. The Banshee Brawl is honestly one of my favorite Banshees ever released. It's sharp, yet still you can see the classic swoop top cover and triangle-esque wings leading to the turbines. It looks custom made and all the more intimidating, but then we got this other take that tries to do different things, yet I'm not sure I like it. Don't get me wrong, it's a Banshee nonetheless, but seeing how exciting this was, it feels watered down. I think they want to incorporate cleaner elements, like the Banished was working with metal junk until they discovered a 3D printer and started making proper parts. If I have to simplify what I mean, this is like a 90s Honda Civic, and this is like giving a Hot Rod fanatic a Mustang after watching Mad Max while sitting at a junkyard. I didn't think I'd like the wings. I mean, we've had forward-facing cylinders, spikes, and discs, but now they've completely innovated the design by hitting delete. I don't mind changes, but I was worried the wings would look too short. However, they don't rest too far down, so from the top view, it seems wide enough. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a Banshee should be able to fly. Its wings are too short to get its fat little body off the ground. Not sure how I feel about the custom front. I almost want to call it a bumper. I like the ring, and I dig the piece in general, keeping some of the banished element. But with the empty gap, it looks like it sticks out too far. If it was pulled back, I think it would work fine. You can remove it for a more classic Banshee cockpit now with the peg hole, but I have a difficult time removing it. Peg got stuck, so decide ahead of time. I can't blame Mega though, it's based on the game, but can we not have hinging wings? It's a banshee, not a bird. While I step back on some things, those are mostly unsure nitpicks, but there are some good points here too. I like the sides of the vehicle with the smooth body. I feel the wings should be brittle, but it's stable enough, and the shaping is good with the clear plate connecting the two parts. <laughs> The red and silver is still lovely, and I like the more subtle colors. Mostly these with some dark gray and yellow highlights thanks to the generous addition of more projectiles. I can see this making the lines behind the vehicle, but you can use any of them to launch from the front. Inside is the console that's printed on a clear plate, with two handles perfect for the figure to plank inside. 
There's also two clips that can hold the weapon. No mention of this anywhere, so I approve of hidden features. Can I also make a note of the cut curved plates they repurposed to make intakes? Brilliant! Silver trim on some of the larger parts, and there's a clear wobbly rod on this green base plate. But what's with the two half plates only connected with two pegs each? That doesn't seem stable. If only there was a piece of this size that won't split in two. You know, something like this. Internal disappointment. Like I said, I really like the ring on the front like some visual lens or energy piece. It's like it's staring back at you, saying... Something about buying an Xbox. I think they wanted to blend the classic look with the Banish considering the game seems to be doing that for a lot of things. But I'm not sure if it worked in the set. I can see people not focused on getting this right away, but in hand, I'm starting to like it more. Plus, it's gonna be hard to skip over that recon, how can you not? And now, the Banshee is off to help another family.